Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to put in this M2 hard drive from Samsung. Now, originally I was doing this video because I wanted to try and speed up my video editing server up in the corner right there. One of the potential things that could have sped that up may have been to upgrade the hard drive something with a faster write speed. This M2 hard drive is one of the top rated hard drives for speed. So I figured let's try it out and see how we go. And during this process, I found that there was something else quite interesting uh, about trying to install this M2 drive. So keep watching and you'll find out. All right, guys, I'm going to upgrade the water cooled server and install this Samsung 970 Evo M2 hard drive. I'm going to test them against the SSD that's currently in there. So the benchmarking tool I'm going to use for these hard drives is Crystal Disk Mark. Now I'll put a link to their website down in the description below. So I'm mainly going to focus on the sequential test and in this case we've got 484.9 which is actually quite high for these hard drives. And the second test I'm going to do is to see how long it actually takes me to process a video in the video editing software and that way I can compare it against the M2 drive. So basically this is a 500 gig hard drive. Now comparing that to the existing SSD that's in there, it's 120 gig so it's a bit of a jump up and what I'm going to do is actually put the videos onto the M2 drive that I'm editing and then I can actually transfer them across to a server once they're done. So let's open it up. And there it is. The small little hard drive. So underneath there's some instructions that I'm not going to read. The size difference is quite incredible. Now the M2 drive would fit in this little slot here. So that would come across to one of these screw points. Now there's the screw that's already in there, so I'll have to undo that. Here's a tiny little Phillips head, so you'll need a little screwdriver for that. But first I'm gonna turn this computer off. Now we can take this hard drive out. Undoing the screw, and it'll only go in one way. You can see the notches on the bottom. There's a smaller notch which will fit into that socket. And now we just have to install the operating system. And now we test the M2 drive. And we're getting a read score of 817.8. Okay, so something's not right here. Now if you have a look at these benchmarks on user benchmark online which you can see that the average user benchmark for the standard SSD is actually quite close but for the M2 drive which is also on Samsung's website as being around these speeds the peak amount is actually around the 2500 amount so something's clearly not right here now, it actually took me quite a bit of time running around and looking uh, into why this is the case, looking at drivers and all other options that I had there. So it turns out that some of the older motherboards that had the M2 slots didn't actually have the support there for all the lanes. And therefore what it did was actually limit the speed that the hard drive could actually use. So in this case, the motherboard on the video editing server actually had this same issue. Although this is quite annoying, the difference between the original SSD and the new M2 drive is still nearly double. So, so what I'm gonna do now is actually test the video editing software to see if there was any increase in speed.
And now that we've done that test, the time taken in the first video was 12 minutes, 17 seconds to process with that original hard drive. And with the M2 drive, it took 12 minutes and 17 seconds. So basically gave us zero performance increase with that drive. Am I mad? No, I'm not. Because even though that motherboard does throttle down the speeds that this hard drive can get up to, at the end of the day, I've still got the hard drive. I can switch it out into my gaming rig if I want to change that across. Now, the reason why I haven't done it in my gaming rig so far is because the motherboard I'm using in the gaming rig doesn't have an M2 slot. But when I upgrade eventually, I'll be able to take that hard drive out of the server and put it across into a gaming machine. I do not doubt that the Samsung uh, 970 EVO can get speeds up to that amount as per a lot of the other tests. Uh, it's just not going to happen in my computer. But as for increasing the speed of the video editing, that gave us no result at all. Looks like I'll have to try some other things. Alright, that's it from me. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe if you're not. You can watch those other videos up there. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.